what is up beautiful people welcome welcome back to my channel my name is Dineom Kebani I am the founder and CEO of DM Beauty's Bath and Body Care as you saw on the title when you clicked on this video I'm going to be speaking about why it took me two years to finally launch this business before I even get into why it took me two years um running a show alone is um the biggest business ownership challenge um with my within my experience i i decided to make my products myself from scratch meaning i am my own formulator in the business and i also take care of all the finances in the business so i deal with the formulating department i deal with the accounting department i deal with the whole um product development department so doing all of those things alone uh, one of the reasons why it took me so long to launch because I needed to first learn everything and then implement it into my business so those are the things that I had to get past whilst also trying to make this whole business concept work out for me the way I wanted to to work out I had to go and look for a job and then use some of the salary I get from my job to grow capital to just start my business and when you're starting a business you no know, a lot of people think you just put in money and then the business just starts you know uh, when I first started out my first salary went into buying equipment for the business and then the second salary would go to buying ingredients and then the other one would go into buying packaging so that takes a significant amount of time before you can even start to tell people that you you've started a business because you are actually just still starting out you just still getting all the little puzzles together before you can even get the whole picture of what your business is going to look like so from buying everything little by little to starting to formulate the pro my products and before i can even start formulating my products i needed to learn how to formulate i needed to learn what kinds of products am i looking into formulating what does it take to make my product feel and look a certain way that i wanted to so that took a very long time for me to achieve it so when i started with the mpt's bath and body care i needed to decide which segment between the two the face care and the body care would be much easier for me to branch into taking into consideration which one easier to formulate or which market is easier which segment is easier to 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 penetrate the market the skincare market with so those are the things i had to decide on and I did my thorough research, I experimented, I started to write formulations, I started to research about other skincare brands and look into the types of products that they make, the amount of time it takes them to make just one um, beautiful product that actually helps with one major issue that people are faced with on a daily. So with my brand, I saw that um, the body care range is so much easier to penetrate into number one and number two it's very easier to formulate body care products in comparison to face care products and this is because in face care products um majorly you find that um we we formulate face care products using ph adjusted um active ingredients like your, your niacinamide your allantoin your glycolic acids your ascorbic acid in, in hindsight what you find in face care products is active ingredients um, hydroxy acids and alpha and beta acids so those are the things you typically find in a face care product all you need to make your body butter is an oil a humectant your distilled water it's just so much easier you can use just about at about majorly five ingredients to make um, a body load a body care product but with a face care product you need an active ingredient you need your water you need your hydrosol you need your extracts there's a whole lot of things that go into it so the formulation process of it the science and the chemistry that goes into it is difficult than your body care products so that is why i am first going to start with launching with um body care products because it's not because i cannot formulate skin um face care products i actually can now it's just that it I still want to perfect my formulations and actually get them to be experimented on, tested, etc. So with your body care products, I actually have one that I've already perfected. It's um the I hope my camera can focus. I doubt it can. Just put it up somewhere on screen. 
but however this is uh, my 125 grams body butter it's milky it's milk and honey scented and this is how it looks on the inside okay like it's too bright I don't know how I will show you but yeah if you can see I tried to make a little swirl for you guys to see like see I know girls love this so I have the mail range these are not the products um this this is not the, the um, the packaging I'm going to be launching with however these are my product the formulations I am I had currently worked on and have currently perfected I have perfected these formulations and this is how it looks inside this is the 250 gram uh, yeah I can't show you guys exactly but yeah this is the male range it's woody it's sandalwood and cinnamon scented very love I love it so much like I just love the scent and then these are the products I have currently been working on and I'm really proud of myself to be able to have done this as I initially said that there are two um, segments in the skincare market which is your face care and your body care and I had already explained why I chose to do the body care first and it took me two years because I actually needed to learn the difference between the two and why we need to use different types of formulating methods to make the products so it it was supposed to take me even much longer but because I'm a fast learner <laughs> it only took me two years to understand the whole process and to learn how to pick and choose mix and match each and every ingredient that I put into my product to make it what it is and then you also find that in the skincare market another um, segment we have is different types of packaging so you have your tubes your bottles your jars your what do we call this foaming pumps so there are different types of packaging when it comes to also that and the type of packaging you choose for your product is important is to know how to choose your product packaging so with the mail range I'll try to show you guys some way over here with the mail range I'm going to be using the tube and the jar packaging because well it's much easier to use and it's aesthetically pleasing you know and with the female range I'm going to be using a variety of um, packaging because I know females what we we, we we like what we see so you need to actually be drawn to the product first before you want to buy it. some people only buy a product because of how it's packaged honestly and some other people decide if it's worth to use a product based on how it's packaged so those are the things I also had to take into consideration because I am also like that I would buy simply buy a product because it looks cute even if I buy it and then I find that it actually doesn't work I will buy it because I like the way it looks and so I had to sit down and research about packaging and know exactly the types of packaging know the kinds of um, suppliers that are out there when it comes to packaging and it's here in South Africa I don't know about other countries but it's very difficult to find cute aesthetically pleasing clean minimalistic looking packaging it's really hard all you'll find in search for packaging is like your natural leads and like your natural containers with natural leads and your very normal typical looking like packaging so to actually find one aesthetically pleasing two sustainable three um minimalistic looking packaging you need to have your pockets checked and you need to do your thorough research and you need to make sure that your suppliers you go into business with are ethically producing their products and that is also one thing um that made me take so long to actually launch my business because you find that you may for example um with my kids my kids are what we use to put like a little bit of color in in, 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 in in the products that we make or your typical dyes I do not use dyes because they contain parabens and others contain um, cruelty non-free I don't know what to call them but yeah harmful 
chemicals in them so I do not use dyes for my products. I do however use micas which are ethically sourced and cruelty free and are also good for the skin. So those are the things I needed to look into that because you find that you may buy from a supplier they sell to you a, a mica and only to find like years later that the the mica is not ethically sourced so that those are the types of things that I also needed to look into when I was looking for suppliers so the whole period of looking for suppliers alone would take me about two to three months and then I also needed to order the product and then it takes me about another week to get the product to come to me when it gets to me and then Kani like it with all my formulations and experiments and then experimenting and formulating is yet another three to six months because you need to make sure that your formula works you need to make adjustments to your formulation you need to make additions to your exfoliate sorry to your formulation so it is a very 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 long process and it takes so much time to know even knowing why i need to use distilled water to make my formulations instead of regular tap water or regular purified water it, those are something that you also need to research it about research about know exactly understand why and know the differences you you may get from your formulation by just using um, a certain type of water in comparison to the other so it is a very long process another thing that I had to decide on is the form of um, distribution channel I will use for my business because you have your offline retail stores and your online retail stores so your offline retail stores is a typical physical store and then um, when it comes to your online retail stores like I could use um, for example take a lot or my own business website so that is something I also need to decide on taking into, into account my own pocket how how much uh, money I had at the time to start the business so my initial decision is to use online um, retailing um, platforms so I'm actually building a website now for my business and it's going to be dmbt's www.dmbt's .co.ca something like that so that is what I'm looking into doing I have actually started with um, creating the website and one of the reasons why this it took me so long to actually decide on is because as a small business owner or even as a startup um, respectfully you do not know exactly the type of market you will that will respond to your brand yes I may as a business owner have a target market people I'm targeting to sell to and your target market isn't always the people that actually respond to your business or to your brand I've seen this a lot of times I mean for example um, let's see and then with me the amputees I'm just looking to sell to men and women I I may say that I'm looking to to sell to women between the ages of 18 to maybe 45 depending on the types of um, body problems that my products may be solving for them and then with men I may be saying I'm looking to sell to men between the ages of 20 to 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 50 you know who knows you would never really know and only to find that um the people that are going to respond or engage or even buy from my business are going to be a, a, a group a group that is totally different from the whole um demographic i thought my um potential customer may look like so those are the things i needed to take into consideration so i needed to know how I want the look and feel of my website to look like based on those um, factors alone who or who may not be responding to my brand or who who may not be looking to buy from my brand even from my when I announced on my social media platforms that I'm I'm, I'm going to be launching um, this business I posted about the male range first however the the most engagement I got was from women and they wanted to buy and this is something that blew my mind off because here I am I'm posting that I'm going to be selling this product and it's for men and in the comment section I found a bunch of women telling me they're going to buy the product for their significant others um, with their boyfriends or their fathers or their brothers and when I posted that um, um, announcement 
I was actually expecting to get um, engagement from men. A man saying, yeah, I've been needing to, 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 to try out a new skincare product or a new skincare brand. And it was my, the, my customer looked totally different from what I thought they would be. So those are some of the things that you need to con- take into consideration. And those are some of the things that you will learn as you continue with your business. You need to know how your whole brand voice is going to be um, perceived by others or your own customer and I have grown to fall in love with it every single time I love what I do and base it is amazing it is very liberating I don't know I find it empowering to be able to make my own face care product you know to just wake up one morning be like mm, today I feel like making a lotion that feels like this and get to make it for myself and love it at the same time and it loves me too because it gives me the results I want so yeah that is it for me beautiful people i hope you watched this video until this far i'm going to make a vlog um and show you guys how i actually the whole process of formulating my products and i also i'm going to have um, an interview soon right before my the launch of my brand i won't tell you guys yet you'll know on the second um, video thank you so much for watching till this far and i hope you subscribed and clicked on the bell button to get notified every time i upload love you lots and this is it for me bye